welcome back to my channel so this past weekend I helped to decorate for two baby showers in my last video I showed you the first baby shower that I decorated and now in this video I'm gonna show you the second baby shower that I decorated it was a teddy bear theme and normally I do not record all of my teddy bear baby showers because you guys have seen so many from me but I wanted to show you this one because I use a new color combination, okay? So let's get into the setup and then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because of course, I have some lessons learned for you. All right, so let's get started.
right guys so that was the teddy bear themed baby shower let me know in the comments what did you think i have to apologize the lighting wasn't as bright in there so i tried to brighten up the video as much as i can but if it seemed dark at certain points just know that's because at the venue the lighting was very dim okay now let's get into the lessons learned because i do have three of them for you guys the first lesson learned with this event is guess what i forgot my ladder i don't know what is going on but i keep forgetting to bring my step ladder to my events let me tell you that can make or break your balloon backdrop if you can't get to the top of your balloon backdrop because you don't have a ladder it can be hard to shape your balloon garland so thank goodness thank goodness the restaurant that i was setting up at they gave me their step ladder but it wasn't as tall as i needed it to be to really fill in and shape that top part of the balloon garland okay so yeah i have to make sure that i'm putting my step ladder in the truck first like that needs to be the first thing that i'm loading into the truck or the van whenever i have an event let that be a lesson to you guys whenever you're doing a balloon backdrop you always want to make sure that you have a step ladder so that you can really shape the top of it the second lesson learned with this event is as you guys seen i added a floral arrangement to the top of my balloon backdrop with these palm spears but you know what i think these palm spears are just a little bit too big so the next time i do a balloon backdrop like that i'm gonna use the smaller size palm spears and what i'll do is i'll put the link in the description so if you guys are creating a similar balloon backdrop you could use those instead these were just a little bit too big and here's my third lesson learned for you guys i get a lot of questions on my balloon centerpieces okay if you guys have any questions on these balloon centerpieces here i do have a tutorial that i'm going to link in the description okay so if you want to learn how to make those balloon centerpieces i have a very detailed step-by-step -step tutorial to walk you through that i get a lot of questions though from you guys about how soon can you blow up the balloons and how long do the balloons last okay so here's my balloon centerpiece you may not be able to see the whole thing but this is the balloons from the event these are about five days old right and they still look good so you could blow up your balloons about a week before your event if you need to and if you use good quality balloons okay if you use some balloons off of amazon i'm sorry i cannot guarantee that these will stay inflated for that long okay so you want to use some good quality balloons another tip that i have for you guys this stand that i created it is pretty strong so if you want to you can even attach the bears before the event and just bring this directly to the event so the only thing that you need to do is just place these on the tables okay so i wanted to make sure i answered that question for you guys all right guys so that was the teddy bear themed baby shower everybody just loved the decorations you know these teddy bear themes are so cute and they're so adorable but guys, I'm not sure I'm going to keep recording the setups because I feel like you've seen them all already. All right. If you have any questions on any of the materials that I use, please make sure you check the description of this video. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.